what if I was to tell you that there is a way that you can avoid the government control? What if I was to give you some ideas on what you can do in a time when things aren't going so well and the government wants to take control over you and how they do it? You see, it's been a known fact throughout history. They have the means, they have the technology, they have the ways of controlling you. Now, as a prepper, one of the main things that you can do to avoid the government control that we have learned throughout the history, going back over a hundred years on what the government does, is being prepared with your food. You see, it all stemmed and it all started back during the Great Depression. They started rationing everything. They controlled what you could get. If you had money, you could buy certain things, but it was very limited. Then you had the Great Dust Bowl, and that was a whole nother situation where People and farmers and everything else were just devastated. No food, no water. They couldn't grow crops. They couldn't do any of that kind of stuff. During war times, everything was rationed. Everything was rationed. Meat, flour, sugar, butter, milk, eggs, cheese. Everything was rationed. They controlled what you bought, when you bought it, what day you bought it, how much you could purchase, and everything else. So the way that you can get around this whole part of being controlled by the government is very simple. It takes time, effort, and money on your part in order to ensure that you and your family are not being controlled and told what you can buy, when you can buy it, and how much you can buy. You see, this whole thing is all stimming and it's all brewing right now, folks. We are looking at possible another collapse of the financial situation that this country has put itself in. No longer do we write bills for a billion dollars. Everything is trillions of dollars. And they all say that they have ways to pay for it. Don't fall for that one, folks. We have the whole housing market thing that is going on right now. Yes, it's a seller's market. You want to sell your house, and if you live in a certain area, I can guarantee you you're probably going to get $100,000 more than what the house is actually worth. They are, people are in bidding wars to buy homes, depending on the area that you are living in. And they're buying these homes for more money than what they're actually worth. It's only a matter of time before that bubble bursts also. And then we haven't even talked about any catastrophic events that may occur. Last year, we had one of the most active hurricane seasons ever on record. And we're already prone to be going down the same road again. You see, yes, if a one or two category hurricane comes to town, Usually it doesn't do a lot of damage. You, you will get some damage and things of this nature, but for the most part, it's very minimal. But you get to a category four and a category five, all it takes is one storm, folks, at a category five that can wipe towns completely off the map. It's a possibility. Everybody is in the bullseye this year with the way that the whole weather systems are running. The waters are nice and warm now. Storms are all starting to pop up all over the place. You know, they talked about the dust coming out of Africa and coming over here, and it was going to deter um, a lot of the storms from developing this early in the season, which hasn't took place yet, but the dust did arrive. You see, they have all this technology and the computers are trying to predict Mother Nature, which usually 95% of the time doesn't fare well for the rest of us. 
most of the time we're lucky if the forecasts are right within an hour. We also are dealing with all the mega droughts that are going on out west. And right now, what is taking place, Lake Mead's going dry. It's already at 38% less capacity of putting out power. They're already starting to talk about cutting off water to certain towns. They're putting in water restrictions all over the west. You see, because that's the whole point of this, folks. Once they can get control and the government steps in, well, then we go back to wartime, Great Depression, and those eras for food and water. See, that's how they're going to control us. Because without the food and the water, you can't survive. And if they have control, they dictate exactly what you can have, when you can have it, and what day you'll get it. If you're prepared and you start putting stuff away, you can offset this for as long as possible, depending on how much of a stockpile you do have and ways to get your water, ways to filter your water. There are many different things that you can do. I have several different videos that talk about hurricanes, being prepped, being ready, all that stuff filters in. It doesn't matter when you're prepping. You're prepping for an anything type situation. You're not prepping just for one particular event. Whatever you do, whatever you prepare, whatever you put away will cover you on a broad range of all different types of things that can happen to us at any given moment in time. You see, we, none of us have a crystal ball. None of us can predict the future exactly what can happen. But we can read between the lines. And if we take the blinders off and we pay attention to what's going on and all the turmoil and all the unrest and all the food shortages with all the different type of things that we've been through from Charlie Victor 19, record hurricanes, earthquakes, volcanoes, dust storms, mega droughts, tornadoes, blizzards, the list goes on, but you're covered no matter what type of situation you are dealing with in your own local area. So if you really want to avoid the control of the government, the biggest thing that you can do for you and your family is to start putting up your canned goods, your dry goods, your water. Make sure that you have some way to filter water. So if you had to go down to a river or a stream or whatever it may be where you could collect water, you could filter it so that you could drink it or use it to cook with, to clean with, whatever it is that you have to do to survive. But you have to have those type of things put in place and ready to go. You have to start getting going. Prices are only going up in the stores. Everything is going up in price. And they're trying to make it to where everybody is controlled by what they can buy. You see, you know, back when I was growing up, you know, you had the five main food groups, you know, for a nice balanced diet. Well, now it's getting to the point where most people are not going to be able to afford to eat a nice, healthy diet because everything is so expensive. So if you really want to sit back and you want to avoid the government control, folks, start prepping now. Start putting away foods, dry goods, the list goes on and on. I have extensive videos on a lot of this different products that you need to put away, you need to have, so that you can survive the government control that is coming to a town near you. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope this helps people wake up 
Start prepping. And if you are prepping, prep more. Be prepared. Read between the lines. Take the blinders off. Thrive to survive, folks. And if we all stick together, we'll all make it through it. So until next time, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'll catch all of you on the flip side.